Hello, welcome to our technical video series on how to build custom decentralized applications with the Horizon sidechain technology called Zendu. This is the sixth and last episode of this video series. In the previous videos, we discussed the structure of the SDK, how to implement custom transactions, boxes, propositions, and so on, and how to serialize them, and how to extend API. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to aggregate all the custom elements and business logic and initialize the SDK node instance. The sidechain app class is the starting point of the SDK. Every sidechain application should create an instance of sidechain app, pass all the required parameters, then execute the sidechain node flow. The sidechain app instance can be instantiated directly or through Google Juice Dependency Injection Library. Let's take a look at Lambo Registry to make sidechain app constructor arguments easier to understand. Our registry app is a starting point of the application, so it contains the main method. It expects a single argument with the path to a user-specific configuration file. It creates an instance of the sidechain app class using a juice injector and executes the run method to activate the node. The bindings of the sidechain app argument are placed in the car registry app module injector class. We can split sidechain app arguments into five groups. Settings, custom objects serializers, application node extension of state and wallet logic, API extension, and physical storages. Developers can define custom configuration options, such as a specific path to the node data storage, wallet seed, node name, and API server address and port. To do this, you should write a Hocon notation into the configuration file. The configuration file consists of the SDK required fields and application custom fields if needed. Sidechain developers can use the settings reader utility class to extract sidechain specific data and the config object itself to get custom parts. It is possible to define a basic application configuration that can be passed as an argument to the settings reader if a specific sidechain contains general application settings that should be controlled only by the developer. Developers can call get sidechain settings from the settings reader instance to define the settings related to the core. The next group of sidechain app arguments is related to the custom object serialization. This is where we specify how to work with custom boxes, transactions, and others. For more comprehensive instructions on how to do this, watch our previous video. Once we have completed that step, we then define the extension classes for the state and wallet logic. Currently in the Lambo registry example, there is no custom state and wallet logic. But for example, if we don't want to have two car boxes that reference the same car, an additional validation rule can be implemented in the application state for car declaration transaction. The next group of sidechain app arguments is the physical storage configuration where we define our storage locations and the specific storage implementation. There is a key value storage implementation present out of the box. The implementation is based on level DB, but developers may implement any custom storage that follows the storage interface. Last but not least, we have API extension related arguments. Here we set up custom API endpoints to add our HTTP server. For Lambo registry, there are endpoints to declare the car, sell the car, and so on. Also, we specify what core APIs to reject if needed, after we specified the source data, we create juice bindings that satisfy the annotations in the sidechain app constructor. If all the bindings were set properly and all custom data was defined there, the instance of sidechain app will be successfully initialized and the custom application node, in our case, a Lambo registry node, will begin working. In this video, we showed you how to collect all custom business logic together and initialize a sidechain app to start a custom application node. I hope you found our Zendu sidechain technology and our Lambo registry DAP example interesting. I also hope that these video series are helpful and give a comprehensive introduction to the Zendu SDK. This and more information can be found in the sidechain SDK and Lambo registry GitHub repos and in our documentation web portal. You can also find more tutorials and guides on our Zendu tutorial portal. If you have any feedback or questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.